What's going on, Toxic Gamers and my Sony Ponies? What's going on, Sony Ponies and Xbox Andys? Today, we got the homie Dreamcast guy, okay? We talking about Galo, or my bad, uh, Halo. And a lot of people are not feeling it. We also got to talk about Activision and this and that. It's been a minute since we had, like, some bad news, right? We had the Concord situation with PlayStation. And now we got the Galo situation or Halo situation with Xbox. And the homie Dreamcast guy, he not feeling it, guys. He not feeling it. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video if you believe that there are two genders. Just like like the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, Bruh. but actually roll this, roll What's up keepers, Drew Keska here, and today we're talking about Xbox because it has now been officially an entire year since the approval of the Activision Blizzard deal. Now, if you'll remember just a bit ago, yeah. this was a time of pure celebration from Xbox and a lot of Xbox fans. In fact, I'm not going to name any names, but there were hey, actually- Hey, whoa, whoa, chill, bro, chill, come on, man, damn! A lot Chill. of Xbox podcasters that were having actual parties, having victory streams, putting on suits, and saying, now is the death of PlayStation. And I'm not even faulting their hype, their excitement for Xbox to finally make a comeback, but now, just one year later, Xbox is pretty much dead. <laughs> tranquilo, tranquilo, brother, tranquilo. Consoles not selling, Game Pass subscriptions <laughs> are in the toilet, and even the biggest Xbox exclusives are now coming to PlayStation. But let's Bruh. talk about this deal because I do no. truly believe in my heart of hearts that the Activision Blizzard deal is the death of Xbox. And I don't <laughs> Okay, let's let's find out. Let's find out how is the game. <laughs> now here's the thing though, right? So far Nothing really has happened with Xbox and Activision, which is understandable. It's only been a year. Now, of course, a year in the like on the internet disc, that's like a lot. And this is a classic Craig moment, okay? You guys we're gonna actually live this moment because I don't think we're ever gonna see that. <laughs> We're never gonna see this again, man. What the hell? This created, this started a meme. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, okay, I'm not cutting it, man. Listen, man. Back when gaming was simple, you feel what I'm saying? Now they're trying to turn. Would you take like this or would you take this? Like, I, I just want to know, like, from my Sony ponies, I want to know from the Xbox Andes as well. I want to know, like, from everybody, right? Like, yeah, like, I, I yeah, right? Damn, man, situation kind of tough right now. But um, it's only been a year is what I've, I, I'm saying, right? A year is not necessarily going to change much. And so far, officially, I'm not trying to defend Xbox. I'm not trying to attack Xbox. Th these are facts, okay? So far, Microsoft has said that only, okay, in terms of Xbox, not talking the entirety of Microsoft, but Microsoft is saying that so far, Activision is the one generating the most amount of uh, revenue for Xbox, okay? So Microsoft... Or, or I should say Activision and Call of Duty has been really good for them in terms of making the monies All right, so that's what they said a couple of months ago. I think it's true, but let's find out roll it I don't think anybody could have predicted this, but let's get into it Hi, hope you're having a great day And if you could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already now, I do think this deal in general on paper initially did seem like a big shakeup. There had never been an acquisition of this size pretty much ever. There had been like corporate mergers, but Xbox purchased them for $77 billion after a very extended and very messy court case. Now, I made a lot of videos about that case as it was yeah. unfolding because... A lot of videos, that's an understatement, brother. Listen, man, everybody made like tons of videos, bro. It was I just big. didn't truly believe this would happen. It just seemed impossible to think of Microsoft completely consuming a company as big as Activision Blizzard. I mean, this is literally tens of thousands of employees, but I was also curious. Yeah, you know what? Like, as funny as it sounds, it is true. They did consume a company like Activision. <laughs> and you know, the Bobby, the homie Bobby, yo, where's Bobby at? Bobby, yeah, let me actually pull that up. Right, like the homie Bobby. Do I have Bobby? Uh, not th this, uh, not this Bobby. <laughs> Yeah, that's like different kind of Bobby though. I'm I'm talking about this Bobby, this Bobby Kotick. So like, so when we were under, under we were at one point we were under Bobby Kotick's regime, right? And yeah, he has departed. It's been a minute, right? And uh, now we are under Phil Spencer's regime. Nothing really has changed though. Like we still got the still got the. Eh, 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 eh. Friendly. <laughs> We, we still have the BBC online, uh, right? Nothing really has changed, to be honest, though. Except for Phil Spencer did say that they're gonna, you know, change the environment. They're gonna make it a good environment for the devs. They're gonna be changing. 
they ended up firing 1900 devs. <laughs> I guess Phil Spencer made a good environment for the devs. That's the only big change so far. Other than that, we haven't had like much of a difference though, but. Curious as to how this was going to work, how you're going to merge two companies that are so gargantuan into a single entity. And I guess it turns out that it wasn't. This entire merger seems to have, if anything, completely tainted Xbox and messed up Activision Blizzard. A lot of people are saying worst deal in gaming. They haven't done anything. How this disaster turned out Xbox fans. I was actually shocked to see that pretty much everybody is. Now, to be honest, it's true. They haven't done anything. Sometimes not de defending Xbox, not attacking Xbox, but sometimes doing nothing is also a, a good option. You know what I'm saying? Right? You, you know what I'm saying? But, but now here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. So far, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. It's like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it, right? So far, it is what it is, right? I don't think they're gonna change much. For now, I don't think they're gonna change much because like, they, they bought them for 70 billion. They gotta make that money, bro. They gotta make that money back, bruh. And they are making money uh, from it, but they haven't made the 70 billion just yet. It's gonna take them years before they can break even and start to then profit. But it's it, it was big for them, and I guess it's still big for them because Activision is Activision and Call of Duty. And then comes, you know, Candy Crush, yeah, a game that your mama perhaps plays. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, Candy Crush is owned by Activision. And your mama most probably plays, man. So yeah, that's made by Ken uh, that, that's made by Activision. That's made by Activision, right? Galo, Call of Duty, now Candy Crush. Yeah, they own it, my brothers. They own it. So they're making they're making moolah with that. They're making money with that. And I think that's like their goal, because if Activision was third party, like it was always before they made a purchase, th the the profits would go to Activision, a little bit to Sony. Sony would get their cut prior to Sony having that exclusivity rights deal, the marketing deals, Xbox would have that, and Xbox had that, and they changed, the switch came when around Black Ops 3, right, like Black Ops 3 was the first Call of Duty to do like a month early DLC for PlayStation, just like how it was for Xbox, and then, you know, things changed, and then they did it like a week early on PlayStation, then it was like the same day in, in the last couple of years. Uh, and uh, we, uh, the only exception was that the alpha was exclusive to PlayStation and the beta would be a week early for PlayStation and, and we also had one year exclusive modes like Onslaught and you know Modern Warfare 2019 Survival which turned out to be kind of poo poo though uh, it wasn't as good as the original Modern Warfare 3 2011 Survival uh, those of you who know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about but uh, yeah right other than that nothing Nothing massive, right? But right now, Activision, they are making 100% of the money, right? And they're giving a, a little bit of the profits to PlayStation and Nintendo. I guess Sony and Nintendo are going to take their cut, but it's not going to be that big. Uh, and majority of the revenue is going to go directly to Activision, and that's directly going towards Microsoft. It's talking about how bad this has been, even from a job loss perspective, they've canceled projects, but let's actually go from that. Even stuff like this, one year from now, Xbox will be dead. Some people are being like, oh, PlayStation fanboys are still crying. I don't think any PlayStation fanboy is crying about this because it's interesting that every Activision Blizzard game you might actually like is still on PlayStation. You're not really losing anything out, but people are kind of just discussing the fact that the Xbox has found itself in a very bleak position. During the court case, a lot of weird stuff that Microsoft said became very public. Like, one of the things that Microsoft mm. said, essentially, is that Xbox sucks. They, under oath, on the stand, repeatedly had executives and high-ups and people actually in control of Xbox say, we can't keep up, we can't compete, we don't know how to sell Xbox, we're so far behind PlayStation, we'll never possibly catch up, and that's why we should be allowed to buy this. But uh, hey, hey, whoa! And I believe uh, PlayStation also did say that without Call of Duty, they cannot compete, so both of them were panicking, but it's true. Um, Microsoft and Phil Spencer directly went over on record during like podcasts after the fact and he said simply said that bro even if you make good games we cannot compete with PlayStation <laughs> like bro Phil dog like damn bro what the hell nah bro if you make good games damn bro you guys one day if you keep making good games bangers after bangers you can compete with PlayStation if you can even uh, win the console race, right? You can win the console race too. It's not just like you're gonna be able to compete. You can actually uh, kill it. You can kill it. Right now, PlayStation is killing it, despite the fact that on both sides, Xbox and PlayStation, on both sides, we don't even have that many games. Bro, this isn't me or you guys. I feel like that you guys also feel that right though, damn Craig moment here. But, but it's not just me, right? I was gonna say, is it me? I, I don't think it's just me. I, I feel like that 
all of us are definitely <laughs> definitely definitely seeing the low amount of games that we're getting or low amount of good games because there are a lot of garbage out there that is coming out there's a lot of garbage but we are not getting like massive games because back in the days dog like we were getting bangers after bangers after bangers though right like gta 3 vice city uh, we, uh, gta san andreas like galo or back when halo yeah right like halo like left and right Call of Duty's left, I mean, Call of Duty's are still coming out left and right, but back in the days, uh, Call of Duty would come out left and right with quality, though, right? Like, Battlefield was big, Uncharted for PlayStation, Killzone, SOCOM, Gears for Xbox, right? And what else uh, Xbox had, like, other than that? Like, Fable 2, right? The new Fable, I mean, guys, do I really have to show you? Do I, do I, like... <laughs> Uh, you know, Last of Us for PlayStation, I'm talking about the original one. Then they did Last of Us 2 with Abby the Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Tomb Raider recently got changed as well. We were getting Tomb Raider, good Tomb Raider games as well. Man, like, we were Saints Row was also very good. Now they have their studio shut down. Bumble Cloud right there. So, uh, yeah, right? Like, we, we also had the our Batman Arkham games too. And I'm missing probably thousands of other really solid games. Ubisoft, yeah! Ubisoft was uh, pumping out really solid games too back in the days. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Ubisoft is struggling. They're on the brink of getting their company sold out to Tencent. Not for like, guys, uh, not for like Tencent as money, but Tencent the company. Bruh. Okay. Like, yeah, so big difference there. How many studios got shut down, bro? It, it, it's crazy. It is crazy. Because it will finally create a fair market. And I almost feel like that lack of hype directly from Xbox has bled into the fan base. It feels like even when they do announce new stuff, like right as I started filming this, they announced they're doing a Xbox partner preview on Thursday. And it seems like a lot of people are kind of just so blah. It feels like there is no longer that crisp excitement. I've always been a big believer that the strongest marketing position that a lot of Xbox stuff had, from their games to Game Pass or even from the fan base, was that kind of underdog element to it. There's a lot of psychology about how people love to cheer on the underdog. I mean, it's a lot of our stories. It's David versus Goliath. It's always that cool idea of the person that works harder, who gets lucky, beats the person that's already ahead. And I always felt like a lot of Xbox fanboys liked the idea of the Activision Blizzard deal because it was, okay, now we finally have a rock in our sling. We can slay Goliath. We can actually keep up with PlayStation, at least to some degree. And instead, they've completely fallen apart. Now, they're getting further behind. They're selling even less. They can't even get any games out to actually bolster the library of Game Pass. Let's reflect on the year, shall we? Prior top executives leave with Golden Parachute. That's true, that's true, though. 2,500 plus... Oh, uh, damn, I thought it was 1,900, though. Damn! 2,500? Okay, uh, I know that it was 1,900 plus, but okay, that's crazy, though. Yeah, Phil was like, hey, we're gonna make a good environment for the, 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 the devs. Acquires the company. And fires everybody. <laughs> fires everybody, bro. That is ludicrous, though. That is crazy. Some people said that he was trimming the fat. Maybe. 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 But 2,500 deaths! 2,500 deaths! You fell! You crazy, bro! You crazy! Only a handful of ABK games added to Game Pass. Force Xbox to alter standard Game Pass. Can only get new ABK games on Game Pass Ultimate. Yeah, they up the, the prices. That, that's true, though. That's true, though. Let's reflect on that year, shall we? Top executives have left with gigantic bonuses. Some of the people, there are leaks that they paid, like, literally, literally, hundreds of millions of dollars to some That's of the executives true. That's that true. left, who, That's I mean, true. objectively, on paper, seem to have messed up Blizzard pretty bad, so they... I, I, I forgot her name, but there was, like, the Asian chick, right, at a higher position at, X, uh, at Activision that was really, really calling out PlayStation and Sony on their bull squash. They were like, hey, we just wanna... It's gonna be a good thing for gamers. We just wanna sell the company to Microsoft. And I believe she peaced out. <laughs> she peaced out, bro. We, and, and I remember covering that news in the video. And, uh, you know, everybody was talking about it. I was telling uh, you guys as well that most of them are probably going to just peace out. They're ready for it. And, and, I mean, it makes sense, though. Listen, um, you want to you wanna get the bag, you want to get the bag, right? Simple as that. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not even against that, bro. Like, you make the money, you make the money, girl. And she was like, hey, we, wanna, we want this deal to go through. Understandably, I ain't even that mad. I ain't even mad, uh, okay? A and we were talking about it, bro. Like, that trick is just gonna piece out the second the company sold. And that's exactly what happened, bro. So many of the execs, they just took their bonuses and they pieced out. I mean, anybody would. Like, come on now. They were probably working at Activision for years and years. They got they garnered that experience. And, uh, you know, they were like, okay, oh, the, co the company is getting sold out. Let's, let's get it over with collect over millions of dollars let's set ourselves up and then 
perhaps go work somewhere else or just like take a vacation i'm not even mad i'm not even mad bro like that that's it money talks bull squash walks that it'll be what it be bro it'll be what it be, it'll be what it be so she peaced out i remember that i remember that and there were a few other uh, execs that peaced out too they just paid them all to retire uh yeah, they've now yeah, fired yeah. over 2500 staff in just this year it's the ground floor employees it's like the normal devs normal employees that that get laid off ultimately right uh, that that's what it's what's about what it's what's it's about the the higher ups they collect their millions and they peace out bro only a handful of games have actually been added to game pass forced xbox to actually alter standard game pass and so now game pass is now worse across the board basic standard game pass has been completely gutted so they can make an expensive extra version of game pass to try and trick people into subscribing to it there's also stuff like game pass ultimate and also the game pass price hike so pretty much every single part of what we thought of as game pass has actually gotten worse now according to microsoft themselves another part of the activision blizzard deal is that repeatedly it came out the fact that Xbox just wants to be Game Pass. That's their entire purpose, is that instead of trying to sell you a console and expensive controllers and lots of games... For yeah, that, that was a big rumor. Keyword, it was a rumor. Doesn't mean that it's true, but I guess uh, I would not be shocked. I don't think anybody would be shocked if that happens, but it, it was a rumor. It was a big rumor. $70 a pop and downloadable content and expansions and stuff like that. They pretty much exactly explicitly stated that the plan of Xbox is to only be Game Pass. Game Pass is the entirety of Xbox. They don't care if you play it streaming on your TV or if you play it on your phone or if you play it on a console or your PC. All they care about is Game Pass sales. Mm. But in this effort of gutting the service, raising the price, giving us less games, it's ironic that in their effort to make Game Pass better, they've now completely tanked both Xbox and Game Pass. But I want to actually end it off with this, whoa, this big what? post I saw. Uh, people are discussing this a lot. Somebody over on Eurogamer essentially spelled out how the last year has been and how this has been sort of an unexpected implosion from Microsoft, but I liked this list of it. So this is all from the article, uh, Eurogamer.net. Honestly, they have some very, very good journalists, and they basically point out the fact that... <laughs> they have good journalism. Because they had bad news for Xbox. <laughs> Listen, man, I rather like bad news for Xbox and PlayStation than like this and this. And of course, of course, of course, where's that? Where's that? And this. Of course, of course. I rather like, you know, I miss the days when console wars were like, and and listen, I, I don't like console wars when they become super like toxic, but you know, memes wise, for, uh, when people are just being sarcastic and joking around and, you know, not taking it seriously. Yeah, I love it. I love it then. I love it then. But when it becomes like, hey, uh, people take it seriously to the point where somebody, as though somebody insulted their mother, uh, that, that's when it's like, it's not fun, right? And it's been a minute since we had like any big like console war meme or anything like that. But when PlayStation 5 and Series X was coming out, of course, we were having a ton of console memes. I mean, look at that, bro. Like, this is uh, this is Halo, bro. <laughs> this is Halo, bro. I remember this game was memed to death. And right now, people are memeing. Slickers are memeing. And it's becoming Galo. But it's like, the passion is dead. The passion is gone. Because Why? Because every franchise is getting destroyed. PlayStation doing the same crap. Uh, Sweet Baby Inc. is infiltrating everything right now at xbox playstation both of these consoles aren't even getting any ma major games i guess wolverine is gonna be the next big game but don't even know when it's gonna come out and they already said that uh wolverine director said that they want to have more like uh, a, rep a representation lgbtq representation i'm not even making that up that's what's been reported this is a couple of months old news i talked about it they want lgbtq representation in wolverine so maybe wolverine guy is gonna turn out to be wolverina <laughs> You never know. Fable, right? I mean, come on now, right? And we also had... What's that game that's coming out for Xbox right now? Uh, that is a big... Indiana Jones, right? Indiana Jones is coming out. Looking at it, but of course they said that that game is being made for the modern audiences. They open... They, when, they, when they revealed the gameplay right before they revealed the trailer, they, yeah, they came out and said that this game is for modern audiences. They're being making... They're, they have been making this for modern audiences. So it's like... Yeah, right? So, both Xbox and PlayStation, they're lacking games big time. So, it's not even funny anymore. It's not even funny anymore. They bought them in October. 
and there was like a 45 day period of kind of figuring things out then they started doing firings of all the executives starting in january they started canceling games toys for bob which was part of it the people that made the really good crash uh, it's not toys for bobby kotick it's toys for bob like a company does come on man Bruh. Bandicoot 4, they on, just guys. got spun off they actually bought their way out of it they just left microsoft rather than be under the xbox umbrella Arcane Austin and Tango Gameworks were shut down. Thankfully, they were later bought by Crafton. Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush, Grounded, and Pentiment all came to PlayStation 5. Two of these also came to Nintendo Switch. More Xbox games expected to be porting, including Indiana Jones, Diablo 4, and Call of Duty came to Game Pass. Day 1 release and 40 previous titles have been removed from Game Pass's basic tier. Now, the reason I think this is such a good list, I'm glad this person Whoa. went through the article and kind of itemized it, because I think it shows that bit by bit, month by month, Xbox is getting worse for gamers. The whole selling point of Game Pass has always been, and will always be, it's the best deal in gaming. The idea has always been that originally you'd pay $8 a month or $10 a month for hundreds and hundreds of games, right? But then it became $12 a month, then $15 a month. Mm, now it mm, is $20 mm. a month for some Game Pass games. If you, It's still, in a way, on paper, it's still a good deal, but of course they keep on increasing the prices. I guess to a certain degree, people do expect it, the price to uh, go up, but it's like 200% now. It, they double the prices and they're removing games from it and right now let's be real we aren't even getting that many good games where we aren't even getting that many games to begin with but even the games the ones that are coming out aren't even that good so it's like a multitude of things right if we were getting like good games solid xbox games i, I i'm positive that even with the price hike like this from ten dollars to now twenty dollars People wouldn't have been that mad. Of course, like, some people would criticize it, and rightfully so. That's everybody's right, right? Yeah, you have the right to criticize it, understandably, because they double the prices. But if we were getting, like, good games left and right, and there were a lot of uh, solid Xbox games coming out and being on uh, Xbox Game Pass, then surely people wouldn't be that mad. But it's like, whatever right now, bro. I guess uh, if we... It's gonna get worse before it gets better, but it's gonna get better. I'm positive it's gonna get better for, hopefully, for Xbox and PlayStation in the coming months, in the coming years. Uh, I hope GTA 6 is gonna do the best. Uh, I hope GTA 6 is gonna revive gaming. Uh, we recently had, like, crazy gameplay stuff coming out right now. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. You got an insane amount of clips in that, too. Kaji, check it out, and I'll see you right